Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with a Waterloo WLJK guitar. As you may know, Waterloo is a line of guitars uh, made by Collings Guitars in Austin, Texas. And um, it's a line of instruments uh, that's inspired by kind of the lesser known vintage guitars uh, from the early 20th century uh, guitars that were originally available in catalogs that were a little bit more affordable that uh, a lot of blues players used and such. And um, they kind of follow the simpler design, some simpler uh, general construction techniques that was found in those guitars, but applying the uh, really high-end materials and really refined uh, manufacturing process that Collings has been known for. When Waterloo first came out, uh, they first introduced a line of small-bodied guitars, some of which had ladder bracing. Uh, a lot of blues players have uh, really come to like those instruments. But more recently, um, they've introduced this uh, model, which they call the Jumbo King. Um, it's an instrument based on a slope shoulder dreadnought made by Regal uh, back in the early 40s. And you can tell that the shape is uh, slightly different than sort of a Gibson-style uh, slope shoulder dreadnought. Um, and uh, it's kind of a distinctive appearance that way. This particular one is made with a spruce top and it's got Indian rosewood back and sides. Uh, the WLJK comes with mahogany sides and back uh, standard, but the uh, rosewood is an option and uh, this particular guitar was built that way. You can tell it has the sunburst finish. Um, you can also see there's some beautiful uh, bear claw in the top right here. It's a very, very nice top. It uses uh, Indian rosewood also for the fingerboard. It has an ebony bridge. Notice it has the small uh, footprint uh, rectangular bridge um, up here. And um, true to its vintage roots, the guitar has a very large uh, V-shaped neck. This is not the kind of neck you find in a lot of new guitars. And people who are fans of vintage guitars will really like this. It's particular feels great playing in first position and so for someone with larger hands and someone who just um, doesn't get along with a, a smaller low profile kind of modern neck this is really a wonderful neck to have. Now many vintage guitars with big necks like this are very hard to play um, and the neck is really only one factor of that. This guitar takes advantage of all the modern manufacturing techniques that uh, Waterloo and Collings is known for. It of course has an adjustable truss rod and the overall setup and the fretwork is just superb and so it's an easy to play guitar uh, despite the fact that it has a very large neck. Waterloo uses 300 strip open back tuners on this guitar. It has a uh, nice inlay in the uh, face of the of the pegget up here. Uh, has kind of an original uh, pick pickguard shape and a simple herringbone rosette around the sound hole. Now I should say that uh, this is the standard version of the WLJK. There's also a deluxe version of the guitar which has slightly more elaborate appointments uh, than this one and just a little bit more uptown looks. But I happen to really like the simple appearance of this guitar. No binding on the between the back and the sides. Very simple binding on the, uh, the front of the instrument. And uh, just very clean, um, vintage inspired appearance all around. So as you heard in the intro uh, to this video, uh, when I was strumming and flat picking the guitar, it's a very powerful instrument, a lot of volume, great uh, punch. It would make a wonderful guitar for accompanying a singer, accompanying yourself. Um, but it's also responsive enough uh, to be a, a nice finger picking guitar. And again, um, it would be a great choice for accompanying songs or even doing solo finger style work. So let me show you that. I'm drop D tuning now and um, just going to uh, finger pick it a little bit. So again, a very rich, powerful sound. Um, it has the, uh, the the power and punch that you would expect from a slope shoulder dreadnought, but there's also something that's a little bit more airy, uh, very um, distinctive about this particular guitar that I think sets it apart from sort of a typical slope shoulder dreadnought. 
So that's the Waterloo WLJK. This particular uh, instrument came to us from Griffin Stringed Instruments in Palo Alto, California. We thank them for that. And um, do check them out at a Waterloo dealer near you. Uh, please come back here to Peghead Nation for more of our gear demos. My name is Taya Gherkin. <laughs>